Hi folks, I'm Chris, you're watching Fragmental, thanks for joining me. Today I'm talking to you about a new company called U Parfums and I'll be telling you about this fantastic fragrance. Stay tuned. U Parfums are a new fragrance house that offer unique fragrances either as a subscription or as full bottles. The brand work with perfumers to create a new edition every two months. In each edition, you get three unique gender neutral scents that come in 10 mil atomizers. In terms of the subscription, you've got three choices. You can pay 40 pounds every two months and you will receive one of these editions every two months. You can pay 105 pounds for a six month period and in that time, you'll get three of these or you can pay for the whole year in one go. It's 190 pounds and you will get six of these in that time. So you get plenty of juice to get you through a couple of months. If one of the three really speaks to you, then you can go to the website and you can order the 100 ml bottle of your favorite one. So I have addition two here. I'm gonna be going through all three of these fragrances, letting you know what I think of them, what they smell like, and also letting you know which one is my favorite. Each edition has a theme. So this one is focusing on exploring the relationship between touch and scent. So how fragrances can relate to how different textile materials feel to touch. So we're gonna start with chapter four. That's because in edition one, which I don't have, there were chapters one, two, and three, and edition two has chapters four, five, and six. So we're gonna be talking about four Four, five and six today. Are you with me? Good. So chapter four centers around the hero ingredient of cashmere and everything about this is delicate and smooth. There are some florals in here, there's some violet leaf and orris root, but it's not an overly floral fragrance. It doesn't lean too heavily into the florals. They're providing some liveliness, some brightness, a bit of sparkle, but definitely not uh, dominated by the florals. In fact, as it dries down, I lose the florals even more and it just becomes this very smooth, creamy, enveloping scent. I guess like wearing cashmere on your skin. So there's a refined smoothness to this scent and a nice bit of creaminess. So overall, it's this smooth, creamy scent that sparkles with energy. I love the dry down of this. It does go quite close to the skin. This one isn't projecting massively. So if you like fragrances that are sort of smooth and delicate uh, and a bit more subtle, then you might really enjoy chapter four. Moving on to chapter five, the hero note in this one is organza, which is a fabric made from silk. This one's more floral. There's some jasmine, mimosa, and orange blossom, but it's all so well blended that it has this very silky, smooth texture to it. If I'm being honest, this one was a little too floral for me, for my tastes. I'm not saying everyone will have that opinion, but that's just what I felt. I'm not sure I could really pull this one off. Nevertheless, it's a beautiful fragrance, smells high quality, and it's got a nice, bright, feel good quality to it. On to number six, and this one was my favorite, which is why I have a full bottle of it. The hero note in this one is suede. Supporting notes are Styrax, Papyrus, Oud, Magnolia, and Ambra Seed, composed by Christian Provenzano, and I love it. The suede in this makes me think of a very expensive leather. It's smooth, but it's got this robust masculine quality to it, which is the reason why this one is my favorite. I pick up also on a sweet floral accord, but the leather stops that from becoming too feminine. It's just really well balanced. I get a bit of fruitiness from this as well. Not sure where it's coming from, but I almost pick up on maybe a bit of apple. And the oud in here, if I'm honest, I wouldn't know the was oud in here if I hadn't read it in the note breakdown so it doesn't smell of stinky oud at all. Another reason this was my favourite is because for me this is stronger than the other two fragrances. I got much better performance off this one. So because this one is my favourite I had to choose it as my full bottle. I'm just going to show you the bottle because it is magnificent. I love the, the wooden Y you get here. You get uh, one of those on all four sides. It's a really heavy bottle, really feels quality. The cap is magnetic and the icing on the cake is that you can have them engraved. You can see my FM there. So overall, love this bottle. One of the best I've had in a while. So here's the bi-monthly box. There are the 10 mil atomizers. You get a travel sprayer to put each of these atomizers in as well. So if you pay the one-off fee for 12 months, works out that you're paying around 31 pounds for each sample set. So 30 quid for 30 mil of a completely new fragrance, I think it's pretty good value. 
I have to say the quality of all these fragrances is superb, really impressed, they're all really well done. So glad I had the opportunity to try them and find out that Chapter 6 was such a good fragrance. Honestly, this is a dream leather, it's smooth, it's sweet, I think it could probably even get some compliments, which isn't always the case with leather-based fragrances. So there's some information on you parfums for you. Let me know if you've tried any of these. I think they're a pretty new company so uh, maybe some of you are only just discovering uh, the brand through this video. If you've tried them then I would love to hear from you. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you found it useful. Thank you very much for watching. Remember keep tuning into FM, keep smelling good and I'll see you in the next one.